Nintendo announced a ton of 3DS games and new features during the Direct, but what does this mean for the Nintendo NX? Now that Super Mario Maker is coming to the Nintendo 3DS on December 2nd, it means that the game will get a new life, like what happened with Hyrule Warriors that first launched on Wii U, then Hyrule Warrior Legends launched on 3DS, and it's still getting 3DS DLC. They even announced new DLC at this Nintendo Direct. So with Mario Maker getting a new life, they will probably update it. And then if we combine this with the rumors of the game coming to the Nintendo NX, it makes it even more sense. One thing that we will probably see in the NX version that is not in the 3DS version that is sending stages via Wi-Fi. So on the 3DS version you can only send stages via wireless communication and street pass and I think the NX version will probably be capable of doing it via Wi-Fi as well which will make that the more the better version in the end and that's of course what Nintendo also wanted. They also did it with Monster Hunter Ultimate that happened on 3DS and Wii U. 3DS version you could only play together wirelessly. In the Wii U version you could also play with people online. If Mario Maker is coming because of the 3DS version we might also see Super Smash Bros on the system because remember it also launched on 3DS and Wii U. So it is also working on a handheld platform just like Super Mario Maker is now and maybe Yarn Yoshi will also make its way or Yoshi's Woolly World, of course you play Yarn Yoshi, um, will also make its way to the NX. That, that This could be like a nice tactic to have a ton of games in the first year, something they obviously need. Fingers crossed for Mario Sports Superstars on NX, I mean they're making it for 3DS and with the porting going on right now, I think an NX version would make sense, right? Another takeaway, the Wii U is really, really over. Um, yeah, of course, this was a 3DS focused Nintendo Direct, but still, there are not a lot of games coming to the system. Uh, I can't even name a handful. And of course, a ton of exclusives are now coming to 3DS. And we also saw this with the Vita, where Gravity Rush also came to uh, the PS4, for example. So. Really, say goodbye to your Wii U. I think the NX will then be more of a console-like thing, right? Um, I mean, they will continue the 3DS. That's what we saw here. They have the Ever Oasis coming. They have the Yoshi's Woolly World coming. Um, they have this new Pigman 2D side-scroller game coming. Also, a takeaway from that is, of course, that it will. It, it's not a tr an NX game. Um, we, of course, thought that a new Pigman game was coming. I also made the prediction of that. It was an, an, an NX launch title, but now we know it's a side-scroller 3DS game. Which makes a little bit of sense, because yeah, they announced it, that they were working on it, that it was going to come out pretty soon. And yeah, of course, it's a 3DS title, so side-scroller, it's not that doesn't cost that long to make than a full-fledged Wii U title or console game, of course. So that makes a little bit of sense, and was a cool, like, surprise at the end. Will it sell a lot? Probably not. But anyway, another big takeaway from this Nintendo Direct was that the 3DS and the NX will likely coexist together. And that was also like the really push here. They said, where are my 2017 games? Where are my things? And the guy came back with the beard and he was like, oh my god, I saw the future. It, it looks cool. Right? So they want to really stress that don't sell your 3DS. The NX will be in handheld, but we will still focus on the 3DS and of course they are smart to do that because the 2DS has a super large install base and it would be weird to just throw them away. I would not be surprised if the new Pokemon game would launch on NX and 3DS as well. Um, they even did it with black and white where the 3DS was also already out but they still launched an, uh, or black and white too I think um, but they still launched those two th those games on the Nintendo DS. They were also playable on 3DS, but also on DS, because yeah, that would just sell way and way more. Makes sense, right? They also have the engine already on the 3DS running, so I think maybe a Sun and Moon 2 or whatever the new Pokemon game will be called will also be coming to the 3DS. That's my big takeaway. What did you think of this Nintendo Direct and yeah, the links to the Nintendo NX? If, you, if I missed something, please let me know in the comments. Like this video if you did. Subscribe for way more reactions on the latest gaming news, Raptor news, and I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.